Bismillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa ala alihi wa everyone. Um, uh, Ahmed was telling me something before we started. We have, we have, Bayina have this, this thumbnail problem. Actually, we don't have anybody working on our thumbnails. So you know how YouTube makes our thumbnails? Um, they make the most, like, I have like that. Like ridiculous thumbnails on YouTube, right? Yeah. <laughs> because it's all auto generated. So, one of the videos, uh, Ahmed had an epic thumbnail. Can you please demonstrate that thumbnail? For, yeah, you look like. <laughs> like my hands were like this, and I was like. Like <laughs> my my ruh left my body apparently in that thumbnail. Like I was like so dead. And like that, it's on the app. So, like millions of people see it. So, now I'm going to make Ahmed an admin on our Raina page so he can work on the thumbnails. <laughs> So we don't get like a ah, shot, like <laughs> increase your iman. Like, you're like <laughs> anyway, so we're I decided to squeeze these kids on a couch that makes it feel like an uncomfortable road trip while we do these examples from yeah. Dr. Samurai's book. And now see Maria was putting her head on her shoulder just to just to make it uncomfortable. Move. This is exactly what happens in road trips, does it not? Yes, it does. Doesn't like, just like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, especially right? if you're in a tight car. Yeah. So okay, so we're gonna do this example from Dr. Samurai's book. It's really Stug, easy. Yeah, you have to share your screen. I haven't yet. I'm still. Yeah, I'll, I'll share my screen. Let me talk about it a little bit first. <laughs> okay, so I'm not in the screen sharing mood yet. So, and I'll tell you when to share it uh, when the time comes, uh, Joanne. So, here's the thing. We've been studying Arabic for a little bit, and mm -hmm. the, one of the first things I taught you was the ism, the fi'il, and the hal, mm -hmm. right? And the ism and the fi'il, for those of you who don't know Arabic, oh, let's now go to the screen, and I'll show you. Can you, uh, Mariam, can you remind us of the definition of an ism for everybody? All the people who don't know Arabic and like, man, I wish I knew that Arabic, like this girl right here. An ism is a person, place, person, place, place idea, adjective, thing. adverb, and more. Oh, special. Oh, and Adjective, adverb, and more. Now that's pretty impre impressive, Mar uh, Mariam. Like you've been studying the Arabic. Yeah, like I'm, I'm like pretty good, I'm pretty amazing. I'm just you know humble also. <laughs> okay, fi'il. <laughs> oh, fi'il. Um, Impress the world. Uh, to past, present, or future tense. Yep, past, present, or future tense, meaning a word stuck in time. In one of the three dimensions of time, past, present, or future. That's okay. Yeah. So an ism is pretty close um, to a noun. This is not an Arabic class, I promise. Um, and a fi'il is pretty close or pretty close to a verb. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to get rid of adjective, adverb, and more for a moment. Because kids that learn English learn a noun is a person, place, thing, or idea. Mm -hmm. Right? So we'll, we'll stick to a more basic definition. Now, um, I want you to imagine which one of these is still like it's it's a word that doesn't denote any action and which one of these words is moving and changing oh like think of like let's think of a place like masjid mm -hmm. right that's a that's a uh an ism mm -hmm. right or let's think of an idea like education Mm -hmm. Right? Let's let that'll be ism examples. We'll take two ism examples. Much of the education, yeah? Mm -hmm. And let's take something in the past, present, and future like um ran. Uh -huh. Or eating. Or, or, or eating. Mm -hmm. So if I was to think about something that's temporary, mm -hmm. short term, yeah. and it involves movement. Mm -hmm. Some kind of movement, yeah. some kind of action. Which one would it be? Would it be the ism or would it be the fear? The fear. Yes, the fi'il is associated with action, movement, mm -hmm. and short term. Yeah. Because you're not constantly eating. I know Mariam would disagree. But, <laughs> you know, and nobody's constantly running. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. But the, the word masjid doesn't have a past, present, or future. It's just a stationary word. Mm -hmm. Education is just an idea. So there's a, in, in linguistics, there's a stillness. Mm -hmm and a um, permanence mm -hmm. and it's because it's, it doesn't have past, present, future. So it's kind of like it's timeless. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's a stillness and permanence in ism and there is a, an action or movement or short termness in the mm -hmm. fair, the verb. Yeah. Right. Now this is an ayah to describe how Allah uses um, the ism and the fair. Mm -hmm. Right. 
So first I'll tell you, Allah can say, Allah says in different places, He brings the life, the living, out of the dead. Yeah? Yeah. And He brings the dead out of the living. So he controls life. He can bring the living out of the dead, mm -hmm. and he can bring the dead out of the living. living. So he can take something living and no longer make it living, and he mm -hmm. can take something dead and make it alive, yeah. right? So this is the ayah that basically talks about that. Now notice the word brings in English. Let's notice this word brings. Brings here, brings here. Mm -hmm. This is a something happening in the present. Yeah. yeah? So this would be a what? And this is more a fi'il. This would be a fi'il. Right. And a fi'il is associated with what? What um, do we say? Action. Action, yeah. So this is a fi'il, mm -hmm. brings, yeah. associated with action, movement, right? Mm -hmm. And temporary, yeah. right? Now, instead, in Surah Al-An'am, he said, he is the bringer of the dead out of mm -hmm. the living. Okay? Yeah. So a bringer is actually not past, present, or future. It's an ism. Mm -hmm. And what did we say about an ism? Yeah, it's a person, place, thing. No, no, no. What is it? Like, you know how an, a fi'l is associated oh, with Oh, ism movement. is forever. Yep. Stillness. We said stillness. Yeah. And permanence. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Look at what Allah did in this ayah. Inna Allah faliqul habbi wa nawa. Yukhriju. Fi'l mudari. You've learned it. This is yes. a fi'l. It's a present tense. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yukhriju. Hayya min al this al hayya is nasab. Yes, Maryam? See that? Yeah. Fatasa? That's a mafrul bihi. Mm -hmm. He brings out the living from the dead. Min al mayyiti. Wa mukhriju al mayyiti. Mudafi mudafi day. Light no lif lam followed by jet. This is a noun. This is an ism. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. It's so subtle in this ayah. So, what Allah is doing, let me tell you what Allah is doing in this surah. Let me, let me go back and not show you the text now and talk to you a little bit so you guys can focus. So, Allah is changing things all the time in the universe. Yeah. Allah is changing the position of the moon. Mm -hmm. Allah is rotating the earth. Allah is growing a tree, right? Allah is doing all kinds of things, right? Mm -hmm. Now, think of it in two categories. There are things that Allah is doing that have nothing to do with the living. Mm -hmm. Like Allah is making the winds move, Yeah. right? The wind is not a living thing, mm -hmm. right? Allah is making the rain come. The rain's not a living thing. Mm -hmm. At the same time, Allah is also affecting the living. Mm -hmm. Right? The living are like He's making my heart beat. Yeah. Or He's making my lungs expand and collapse. Mm -hmm. Or He's He's um, giving moisture to my eyes. Mm -hmm. Right? So He is affecting the living and He's also affecting the dead. Yeah. Constantly. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, which one has movement, like in itself? Which one of those things, the living or the dead, is still? And which one of them moves around? Uh, the dead is still. The dead is still. And then the, the living around. moves around. And so let's write that. The dead. The dead yeah. is like still and more permanent. Yeah. Right? And the living... Mm -hmm. Is what is moves uh, is is moving and acting, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Now, what do we say? The ism mm -hmm. is like still and permanent, and yeah. the fi'il is like what? Uh, the fi'il moving around. Yeah. Right. Action. Mm -hmm. Look at what Allah did when He talked about the living. Mm -hmm. He used a fi'il because a fi'il is associated with a verb is associated with movement. And something temporary, like life. And when he talked about death, mayit, mm -hmm. he used an ism. Just like the death, dead are still, the, is, the style of the word used to talk about it is also still because it's an ism. Mm -hmm. So an ism that is associated with permanence was used with a word that's coming that's associated with permanence. Mm -hmm. So it's really beautiful how even like, should Allah use, or will Allah use a noun or a verb in some cases to highlight something? Allah would use a noun here and a verb here, and the noun is associated with stillness in this case, and the verb is associated with movement in this case, because life is associated with movement, 
and death is associated with stillness. Mm -hmm. You see the connection? Yeah. So that's how this amazing like choice of word. When, we, when Dr. Samurai talked about how every word is, you know, so perfectly chosen down to, did he should I use a noun or a verb? Allah will use this perfect choice in certain cases to just highlight, you know, the, this lesson. And again, something that we don't even think about. Like you'd have to really stop and pause and contemplate what, what just happened here and you'd appreciate the, the precision of Allah's word. So that's a small example of what I wanted to start with. Uh, incidentally, a student of mine act, asked about this example um, yesterday and I said, you know, I, I wrote something for him and then I said, okay, but now we got to go to Dr. Samurai's book. And so I opened the book and it's the first example he did in his chapter. So, you know, my student might think he's special because I'm doing this for him, but <laughs> it's actually the book is special and Allah is way, way more special. So that ha but you're still special. Barakallahu alaykum. Assalamu alaykum. Assalamu alaykum, guys. Bye. Remember, do your best and Allah will do the rest. I did not know this was going to hey, be Hey, move, success. move. Why don't you get to sit next to the window? <laughs>